This influencer faked a whole pregnancy for her own monetary gain. Faked an abortion just to get people to subscribe to her Patreon. And it's safe to say influencers have officially lost their minds. Alright everybody, welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel. My name is Curtis and that is Cool Guy Jerry. So the girl in question today's name is Caroline Constar, which by the way, what an amazing surname for this situation. She's a con artist and she's a star on YouTube. And in today's video, not only are we going to be looking at her videos, but we're going to go through a Reddit post which I found. And also, we're going to dissect her channel completely and utterly to the ball. Two weeks ago, she uploaded a video titled, I have an announcement, dot, 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 dot. And the description was, yep, the rumors are true. I am knocked up big time. Yeah, about to be knocked up by the Curtis Price channel. Anyways, very excited to exploit this child for views, and I'm so excited you're gonna help me do it. Love you all. Now, Caroline's humor is very sarcastic, okay? Exploit this fake child for views, which she did. So she's foreshadowing the future right there. I'm ovulating and I had like a plug of blood come out and I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and before you say anything, this wasn't something she decided to do when she rolled out of bed on a Tuesday morning. No, 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 this took weeks of planning. 10 weeks pregnancy, 16 weeks pregnancy, 19 weeks pregnancy and 25 weeks pregnancy. But of course these pictures were probably taken the same day in her grandmother's front room. And only a week and a half after posting that video, she posted a new one. I lost the baby, dot, dot, dot. I lied about being pregnant as a joke. And that is the video we're going to be looking at later on in the video because it's absolutely and utterly just wrong. It couldn't be more wrong if it wanted to be. You know, Karen, there are people in this world who actually can't have children. So for you to be on the internet here pretending that you were pregnant to only pretend to lose the child would probably upset some people. But the question is, my unhinged family, what was the goal she had in mind? leading up to this. Well, the reasoning for the whole fake pregnancy was apparently a social experiment. And the reason was to discuss the problems of a parasocial relationship you can have with audience members. Oh, guys, how am I going to be able to discuss the problems of a parasocial relationship? I got it. Fake a pregnancy, then fake an abortion, then plug my Patreon. Yes! <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, Caroline does indeed have a history of clickbait in her titles. But before we go on to that point, just in case you don't know what a parasocial relationship is, let's look at the definition. Parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where one person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other's existence. My god. Sounds like they're describing my relationship with every other woman on the planet. Parasocial relationships are most common with celebrities, organizations, such as sports teams or television stars. For example, if someone was DMing me every single day on Instagram and I had no idea they existed and they kept requesting an image of my ass next to Cherry's face, that would be a one-sided relationship. Although, I wouldn't be opposed to sending a picture of my dump truck next to Jerry's face, if that's what you're into. But as I mentioned, she does have a history of clickbait in her titles. For example, this video had 506,000 views and was posted three years ago. The title was 72 hours with no sleep vlog. 72 hours without no sleep though, it's not really that much of an achievement, is it? Jerry here has moved in five years. <laughs> Try and do that, you know, that's quite hard. So regardless of the title of the video, this was not true. The first line of the description is, hello, the title is a lie. Well, thank you for being so upfront about your clickbait. The video is basically just her talking about how she hasn't been sleeping very well recently and how she had like a manic episode a year ago. And her whole channel overall is a manic episode. But after watching her content, I feel like my channel doesn't live up to the name Unhinged. I call you guys my unhinged family and I feel like we can't compete. So I need to do something unhinged right now. Um, I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> that was so satire. Now, even though Caroline's content comes across as authentic and very relaxed, her intentions aren't. I mean, it's not every day, my unhinged family, that somebody tries to emotionally manipulate their audience for financial gain. And just going through her Reddit thread, someone made a very good point. If you have to fake very real traumatic life events that have happened to other people who reached and shared their pain with you, just to prove that you don't have a bond with your audience, I don't think you're mentally in the place to be a content creator. No, I am not pregnant. The joke is you connected to something that wasn't real. Now, while Caroline came on in the newest video and acted like this was all a big joke, like it was a big prank, and she just wanted to prove a point, it's safe to say her audience members felt differently. I don't know what's worse, people people offering their actual support or her faking a mental breakdown for being pregnant. Something people actually do deal with, by the way, in real life. It's not fiction. It does happen. I want to have a kid. I just don't think I can have a f***ing kid right now. F*** you! I'm having a baby. Like, I'm having the baby. It's not like I'm not, it's not like I'm getting rid of it. It's like I'm having the baby. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> Watching this when you know it's fake gives off a completely different energy. Before it would have been like, oh wow, it's okay, don't be upset that you're pregnant, don't panic, it's gonna be all okay, to, you're a f***ing 
an idiot. And let me tell you something. Being pregnant is exactly what they say it is. But you don't know those you, because you're not actually pregnant. So don't act like you can relate to all the pregnant women out there, because I have heard being pregnant is pretty traumatic, especially, you know, giving birth. I could really fuck up my fertility. Like, I could, I might not be able to have a kid again. And then the other thing is, is that if I have this kid, it's very likely that I won't be able to have another one. But taking a step back from comedic presentation right now, imagine a woman sitting here who can't have children watching this. Hilarious prank, by the way. So funny. 10 out of 10. Made me laugh so much. Ha ha. Now, following her pregnancy announcement, as I mentioned at the start of the video, a week and a half later, she released this video. I lost the baby. Dot, dot, dot. First line of description. Patreon. Now, as I mentioned, the whole premise of her doing this social experiment was to show how bad parasocial relationships are. But then she proceeds to ask for money. And this video is only 3 minutes and 44 seconds long. So, like, what, like, 20-30% of it is talking about parasocial and the other 70% is talking for money. Talking for money? We're Money Talk today, baby. It's a Money Talk video. Welcome back. Now, instead of subscribing to her Patreon, you should subscribe to my channel memberships because, unlike her, I didn't fake pregnancy, okay? Okay, guys, I lost the baby, and I don't know exactly where I put it. It it has to be around here somewhere. No, I am not pregnant. And I'm sure some of you are shocked. I'm sure some of you are not surprised at all. I'm sure some of you don't care. Okay, so I'm sure some of you are shocked. Some of you aren't surprised at all. Some of you don't care. Well, let's see what the comment section said real quick. I never thought of her as pretentious, but this has to be some of the most pretentious garbage I've seen in a while. My heart actually skipped a beat when I read the title of the video because I immediately felt your pain after seeing your emotional announcement last week. To learn that this was all a promotion stunt really leaves me speechless. I am a father and losing a baby is one of the most dreadful experiences I can imagine. Oh yeah, Caroline, I'm sure your audience doesn't care that you did this. When you're a content creator, the line between entertainment and reality is very blurred. Your audience will become very attached to an abstraction of yourself. And the odd thing is that this connection can become very personally meaningful to the viewers whilst not being personally meaningful to the creator itself. Now, I don't actually disagree with her statement here. She's actually very right about this, okay? Like, you guys are attached to a fraction of my personality, which I come on the internet and speak. Like, this person version of me right here is similar to who I am in real life. I mean, if I was to, you know, talk like I do in real life, I'd be talking like this all the time. And you guys would be sitting here and you'd be listening to me talk like this for most of the time, because this is how I talk in real life. You know, I don't talk loud and I don't, you know, give off so much energy. Sometimes I'm pretty ecstatic. I am pretty unhinged in real life anyway. Like, I do just say stupid shit. I try to engage with my audience as much as possible, so I'm trying to, like, not make it a one-way relationship. I'm trying to make it so we all kind of are involved together and we're building a family here on YouTube, and I really like that vibe. So, um, I'm gonna keep doing that. So, yeah, I get where she's coming from. Your attention is monetarily valuable to me. And unless you have some narcissistic tendencies, which a lot of us do, the experience of having a parasocial relationship with your audience can be very uncomfortable. I'll give you an example. When I was 15 and I first started making content, I had a lot of people threaten to me every day and if you could imagine this was not fun now of course it's very sad you were getting our threats at the age of 15 unfortunately as a content creator this is the kind of thing we all have to deal with whether it be abuse bullying threats death threats it comes with almost every content creator but your grand idea to make a statement on the internet of how uncomfortable a parasocial relationship with your audience can be was to fake an entire pregnancy and gaslight them into believing that you were going through difficult times. A lot of you will engage on the internet because you want to be seen and because you desperately want to connect to someone. I lied about being pregnant as a joke. And the joke is not that pregnancy under strenuous circumstances is funny. The joke is not that the audience was gullible enough to believe that I was pregnant. The joke is you connected to something that wasn't real. So basically what you did was just gaslighting your audience and emotionally manipulating them to believe in your story of being pregnant. And your whole grand plan of this was to get them hooked so eventually you can profit off of them. Got it. I, I understand now. Okay. We all come here to find this connection over and over again. And we don't really find it until now when you subscribe to my Patreon.
You know what this feels like? It feels like just after you nut. You're just left with disappointment, shame, just disgust, really. And that's how I feel right now. Like, good job, it was a big advertisement for your Patreon. There are a lot of women in this world who are infertile. Like, it makes them so emotionally distressed. Fair enough if you don't want children. Okay, that's, that, that's up to you. And there are also other people, other mothers in this world and fathers, who also lost their babies. So you are just completely and utterly off the board, insane, reckless, just disgusting. My food just arrived. Boiled eggs, salmon, and sourdough bread. Non-toxic food, ladies and gentlemen. I will tell you that this has changed my life. Oh, yeah, that's fucking right. This entire stunt has been an advertisement for my Patreon. I'm also announcing that I'm coming back to YouTube. Listen, I wanted to come back to YouTube and explain to everyone why I had been gone and what had happened to me in that time that made me want to come back. But some of you in my audience are pretty weird and I don't blame any of you. You know, you can't help being weird, but I didn't think that it would be healthy for me to expose myself like that to all of you. And that's why I decided to keep a lot of my more sensitive information behind a paywall where I would hope some of the audience would be more intentional with how they interact with me because now it costs money to do so. So once again, you emotionally manipulated your audience and now you expect them to care enough to subscribe to your Patreon to see how you've really felt in the last year. How is that, how does that sound like a good plan? How does that sound like a good thing? Yeah, you know what guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely gaslight everybody to care about me and then I'm gonna put a paywall up and if you really wanna find out what I've been going through, you've gotta pay. I mean, that is, that is just ridiculous. Ridiculous! No one's gonna do that. And if they have, I mean, well, this world is just, just, just end it now. Do you know what I mean? Guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back to making YouTube content. I'm so excited to be back. What better way to return to YouTube? What more ceremonious way to return to YouTube than by bringing back the advice videos? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. No, go, go back, go away, quit YouTube. Return to the the the, the 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 hole you climbed out of. Then by bringing back the advice videos. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Advice videos. I don't want advice from you. Let me make that very clear. You would ruin my life if I listened to you. Caroline, please help me. How do I get my subscribers to subscribe to my channel memberships? <gasps> I got it. I should fake being gay. I should come out as gay. I should tell everybody how much I was bullied. You know, I try and relate to gay people. Emotionally manipulate everybody. And then eventually come out and say I was pretending. And if they really want to know how straight they am, they can subscribe to my Patreon. Oh my days, you've got it, Caroline. You've done it. Thank you very much. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below what you thought of this woman. I think she's absolutely disgusting. And it's very sad that she did this. I mean, she so much wasted potential. And if you want to check out some of my other videos, they are right here. This one is pretty sick. It's about Lily Jean, the woman who faked her life. And this one is about a woman who touches dogs. 